you can't give what you ain't got. You, the word that you proclaim, should be a word for you first. And <laughs> if you ain't got love, you can't, how, how can you really proclaim love? And it has to do with the life of the preacher and claiming the idea that Mike Graves talks about in one of his books, that to be a better preacher, one has to be a deeper person. And it's not even, really, it doesn't have anything to do with the sermon. I think for me, it has everything to do with the inner life and how to nurture the inner life so that what is expressed in the outer of the sermon is an extension of your life and there's a sense, there's in, it's integrated. And so for me, the biggest thing is you can't give what you ain't got. If you don't have hope, <laughs> you're not going to be able to preach hope. You know, if you don't have peace, how, how are you going to uh, preach peace and then Hopefully, people have a sense of this piece. And so for me, that, that's a critical piece of thinking about preaching that many times we don't really talk about. We get to the techne, the skills, exegesis, and even my theological understanding of preaching and thinking about sermon forms. And all of that is important. But where do we begin? You begin with yourself. And you begin with the excavation of your own soul. <laughs> and you see yourselves in the presence of God like Isaiah, woe is me, I am a man of unclean lips. You see yourself for who you are. Take a good look at yourself before you look at the congregation. And, um, take, and I think that is, for me, one of the key uh, movements in approaching the sermonic moment.